It's been 24 days of continuous cutting action here at the 2018 Lucas Oil Super Stakes and it's culminated tonight with the Open Derby final. The man of the moment joins me now, Kobe Wood. Congratulations to you. Thank you. How does this feel to you right now? I saw after you run when you got that 227, you did the fist pump. You obviously thought it was going to be well rewarded. Well, it's been 40 years in the making. This is the first one I won in this pen except for the five-year-old. And it took me a long, I'm a slow learner. Well, you were a popular choice tonight. I could hear the crowd behind you, obviously behind you, just as much as the horse. Well, they, I think they like my horse pretty good. <laughs> so that's quite significant then, because you've won $5.2 million. You've obviously done a lot of shows and won a lot of shows. Well, I won here a uh, five-year-old on Cash Kill to Reel, but it's not the same as the four-year-old right. or the three-year-old. You know, I placed in a bunch of them, third, fourth, all the way to 20th, but this is the first time I ever won it in this part of year. It's obviously very emotional for you tonight. Yeah. So let's go to an easier topic then. Can you talk about your run? Can you describe it to us? Well, John and uh, Clay were sitting over there with me, and I told them, I said, we couldn't cut the smaller cows that are weaker. We had to find something with a little sting in them. And I said, uh, and then we, I asked them about the yellow cow, and they were kind of out on it. And then she rolled up there, and she honored, and Clay said, you know, that's a good cow. Uh, John Wool said, it's a good cow if we can cut her forward. And then the uh, yellow cow was the same thing. So we wanted to cut something with a little thing in it, but we had to cut it going up. We couldn't cut it underneath it. And they both were excellent. The best cows I cut in this pen ever. Now, you've got quite a reputation as a great cowman, a great cattle picker. What do you look for? Well, you can't have a cow that's under your neck. you got to have a cow that's up, that honors you, that don't really want to go nowhere, but see what you're doing, check you out, you check it out. And that's what we're looking for in a cow. Now, um, you did the 227. What was your plan coming out? Because you had Bo Gallion, who was looking pretty good too. Well, really, there's not much you can do. You got Bo Gallion, poor old Lloyd didn't get to show his horse. Uh, look, there's great horses here. It's anybody's day on a given day. Uh, you know, uh, we can't help it. We're cutting and we do the best we can. It, all that judge is in the judge's hands, it's not in ours. So we're doing the best we can with what's dealt to us. Okay, now it's a great payday today. As we said earlier, you've won 5.2 million, but it'll get a nice little bump with almost $70,000 tonight. Yeah, my wife won another 13,000 tonight. So yeah, it's gonna help us out with all our breeding and everything. Exactly, now talking about breeding, um, your horse, Cool and Hot, firstly the name. That's what we call an oxymoron when you have opposites. How did you come up with that? My wife come up with that. And, uh, Does she, it reflect the she, personality of the horse? Oh yeah, he's cool and hot. <laughs> no, my, my wife, she, made, she named the mama MJ, which I named her MJ, but she called her Donna Sumboon, uh, not the mother or sister to him. And the mama's name is Donna's Cool Cat. And she said, cool and hot, how do you like that? And I said, I really like that. And that's what we, she put on that horse. Okay, now, as you said, you own the mama, so you've you've bred this horse what does that feel like to win on a horse that you've bred well i got a half sister to him that's won 420 she's a hall of fame mare and that's what we created right there and it's a boom too soon and then this one's the hottest and uh we've raised two great ones out of her i've got some more in the makings and uh we sold some and they've been great so we've been it's just outrageous you know I worked uh, Lanny uh, Ashley's mechanical cow. He likes that mechanical cow, so that really makes a difference, you know. Okay, now you mentioned that your wife had competed on this horse just a few hours ago. How do you manage a horse when they have to show a lot to have enough left in the tank to come out and not only compete, but win and win well? That's my helper's job, not mine. Uh, John Guevara got him ready. He knows what to do. <laughs> You've got a great team around you. Yes. And finally, what's, what's the plans with this horse? Uh, I'm going to show him. And enjoy showing him by the way. And my wife's going to show him. We're going to have fun, raise some coals, 
hope I can share them with my friends. Well, what a great achievement tonight. Thanks for Thank joining you. us. Thank you.